Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'll be teaching guys how to make a uh, something be in a a rainbow color. So say So say for example you have this part and it has this generic gray color and it's just one color. So in this tutorial I will be teaching guys how to make it do multiple colors at once so like in a, a rainbow order so it goes from red to orange to blue to teal then back to red back and forth just like that so what if it would be changing colors at once from red to orange then to yellow then to green to teal to blue etc so that's what i'll be teaching you guys in this tutorial before we begin, make sure you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe if you have not. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So for now, let's remove this part for now. I want to teach you guys how to uh, make GY objects be in this rainbow order. So say like a text label. So insert a screen GY inside the starter GUI then insert a text label and you can customize it put it anywhere you want to I'll put it on top I guess like around the middle right here yep and I'll make the background transparency to 1 so it'll be invisible you don't have to do that, you can do whatever you want to. Uh, the text, the text properties. And I'll just keep the text color 3. In, I'll just keep it black because, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It, in the script, it will change to rainbow eventually. So yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, I can also change the font. There. So yeah, you can customize the way you want it to be. The important part is how you're going to be scripting it. So insert a local script. Uh, you can name it whatever you want to. I'll just call it client. And uh, let's get started. Locals. This I'm making is a, a variable I'm making a variable calling the the run service so game get service run service dot from HSV I divided by 360 comma 1 comma 1 so yeah we're now done and this small script will make the text label change its text color from black well it, it won't make it black it, it will just make the, the 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 rainbow order so from red to orange and from orange to yellow from ye yellow to green and yeah so let's get started we'll see how th th this will change so how will all go so let's say you test it you can do play or play here or run but now I've finally responded, and as you can see, it has made the the text label be in a, a a rainbow color. And like I said, it goes through an order, so it goes from so you know typical red, so typical rainbow color. So it goes from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And yeah, so it works. So now we'll try. Something different. We try and use the frame. We tested the text label, and you guys so far learned how to make the text label. So, making it a rainbow. So now we'll try. So now we'll try with a frame. And, um. So we'll bring in the middle, I guess, or I'll put it on that side. Ah, I meant to scale it. 
And there, you can customize it the way you want it to be. I'll make the border pixel be zero. And yeah, you don't even have to do much with it. Everything else will be done by the script. So I guess you can move the script to the frame. And uh, instead of making, instead of using this property because the frame does not have the text color property because it's not a text label, the frame, it only has the the whole background color and the the outline, and that's it. So, so we'll make instead of so instead of using the text color three property, we'll use background color three instead. So that's the whole point. And even if you try searching for the text color three property, you won't find it. Yeah. So the text label have has the the property. So also I don't forget to change it if you move the script from the text label to the frame instead. So I think you can now just remove the text label unless <coughs> unless you want to keep it. And uh, if you want the actually here, we'll make both of these both of these objects be in rainbow color at the same time. So make and the tell label and the frame be in a rainbow. Okay, it's not responding for some reason. Okay, there. So we'll make the frame be in a, a, a rainbow color and the text label be in. Oh, actually, here. I, I forgot. From HSV, I divided by 360, 1 and 1. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway, so, so this will make the text label and the frame be in a rainbow at, at the same time. So as you can see, it'll wait 0.1 second, and it will make the text label and the frame have their background colors. I mean, the text label will have its text color be in rainbow, and the frame's background color will be in a rainbow as well. So let's test this, and we'll see how this will go. And there. So as you can see, is going in a rainbow order, and it's changing colors. Though it is kind of going slowly, so I suggest we have to add another zero. Okay, no, so it doesn't have a zero, like... It does have a zero, just I didn't add one, so that's why you just add a zero in behind the one. So, yeah, so it's kind of slow, so all you have to do is just make it be 0 0.01 instead of 0 0.1. So that's why we'll change it and make it a bit faster. So if you add zeros, it will make it faster. The more the zeros it has, the... the the more the, the the faster it goes, and if you want it to be slow, then you just remove the zeros. And if you don't want it to be like at any point, but like an actual integer, it's like an actual whole number, like one or two or three, then you don't have to add the dots. But it would be slow, so I, I suggest you 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 do zero dot zero one. And you don't even have to add the zero, it doesn't mean anything. Even if you do this, it's the, the, the value is still the same thing. So you don't even have to add the zero here. It's the same thing. So yeah. So now we're done with the GUI objects. So that's how you make a frame or a text label be in rainbow color. So now let's try with the part. And uh, I'll make the whole GUI in visible because it's kind of bothering me. So yeah, just disable this property. And then now we'll try with the parts instead. So that's why we insert a part into the workspace. Do part. 
And oh crap, my mouse is buggy again. Ah, uh, hey, when that mouse always changes. Okay, there. Sounds back. It's good. So we'll make the parts. Actually, we don't even have to do anything. We'll just add the script. But instead of using the local script, we'll, we'll use the server script so that everyone will be able to see it. To to to, to see the the part going rainbow. <coughs> So, I guess I'll name it server. You don't have to. But the reason why I used a local script for GUI is because, um, because GUI is only functionally work for client scripts. Well, because GUIs are for, for single, like, how, how to explain this? So, clients is for one person. The server is for multiple person. The server is, like, for the whole... For the whole game so say if there's a server so if, so if you join a, a game and you're in a server a server has let's say for example 30 people if you were to use a client script for something then only one person would be able to see what you added into the code if you use a server script for something then it will make the whole the whole server all the 30 people in the server to see it however the GUI is only for for only one person. It's for one person each to see wh wh what they're doing. Like they're clicking a button or seeing a frame or, you know. So that's why we use client scripts. While for the part, I mean, the part is just a generic object that everyone should see what it's doing. So that's why we use the server script. So, we can basically copy the whole thing from the client script to the server script. Although, there's one thing we have to do. Well, first of all, we have to remove this because uh, otherwise it will cause an error and that's not... That's not for the part that that's for the previous GUI objects we used. We want the part to change its color to be in rainbow. The the main thing I wanted to say is this event. This is an event. Bop, bop, had way. This is an event for the run service. In client scripts, you should use a, a render stepped event. In server scripts, however, you use the stepped event instead. So remember, for server scripts, those a regular script you use always remember to use just the stepped the stepped event for the client scripts if you're using the run service and trying to do with the stepped event then you would do a render stepped so remember that so stepped equals server script render stepped e equals client script so remember that so we'll make the parts color be be in a rainbow color so we'll do script parent dot color that's his property for the color color three dot so we'll do for i for i for i part dot color words you know it, it doesn't quite matter as long as it's a big hairy it's kind of like doing it's kind of it's kind of like doing this local v equals still the same thing so that's why um I'm telling you guys that's the error so I guess we can we'll use P I guess it'll stand for the part even though it has no correlation with the part because there's already a variable for part you know what Let's just use A, for example. Yeah. So we'll use A. So. We'll do. Uh, actually, we don't even need to change anything. We just need to change the variable here. So yeah, it's just kind of thinking about this. So yeah, if we're using this variable, we don't need a second variable. 
and we don't even have to do it because I mean so he, yeah the whole error was because uh, the script got kind of confused because there are two of the same variables because there's I there's I and it can't change the color but if there's one variable for a loop and there is another loop for the same variable so keep in mind use um, different kinds of variables just name them t differently from each other so yeah so that was the whole error my bad and uh, yeah let's check this out all right so as you can see it has responded and uh, I believe it's changing colors but a bit slowly it went from red to orange Uh, so yeah, it is changing color. Just see, it's going a bit too slow. Uh, yeah, I guess I would probably add another zero here. So yeah, all you have to do is just add a zero, and it will work. So uh, there, that was a long tutorial because of because of a lot of explaining and plus my things my. Roblox Hoodie wasn't responding properly, it would always just freeze all of a sudden. So yeah, we've tried multiple things that can make anything to rainbow. We can even make this base plate a rainbow if we even wanted to. You can just add the script and um, co copy it all. Just co co copy this, remove this, and then... Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't have time. I won't be making this. It, it is easy. It's not that hard. It's not even hard at all. It just this whole thing t took away a lot of my time, and plus I had to re-record re this. And yeah, yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you have not just subscribed yet. I make videos like on a weekly basis, except last time I just took a break and never uploaded because I didn't have any ideas and now I just had an idea. So yeah, subscribe and I now have 200 subscribers, so I thank you guys for, for this. Let's hope we can hit 300 su subscribers by the end of this month. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Ha have yourselves a great day.